What up, what up, how's everybody doing? I am up and uh, waiting for my Grab, which is like Thailand's version of Uber. Ready to go to the airport, cause I'm getting out of Thailand and heading to Singapore for a week. Um, actually meeting up with uh, mum there, so a nice little family week sort of holiday thing, should be nice. Uh, there's Universal Studios. Uh, I'm gonna pop into a, a boxing gym. If you go back to one of my videos where I was in Cambodia and I was watching the um, Olympic boxing there, one of the Singaporean guys, I hit him up, cause we've been chatting a little bit. I hit him up, I was like, can I come to your gym? And he he said of course you can so I'm gonna head in there at some point see what that's like that should be pretty fun for a video and Universal Studios should be pretty good as well and then there's a bunch of stuff in between that I'll be able to do as well so once I get to the airport might make a couple other videos that sort of thing depending on what I'm doing uh, but the main point of this one is getting to Singapore and then maybe get something to eat tonight uh, and that, that'll probably be it so let's go do that all right made it through got through all the security all that stuff no problems the only thing I'm confused about is it's every time I book my flight, I just pay for the ticket. And then when I get to the airport, there's been a couple of times where they're like, oh, you haven't paid for your check baggage, so you have to pay for that now. And it's like, far out. So on one of my flights coming up next, what I did is I've, I've paid the extra money like on the website rather than doing it at the airport. But then when I got here today, I put my bag up, waiting for it to be like, oh, you're gonna have to pay for it, and didn't. And I was like, is everything all good with my bag? I do have to pay? They're like, no, no, all good, check in, no problem. So like, <laughs> I really don't know the rule and I've flown with this same company several times so I don't know exactly what the rules are maybe it's different for different countries or something I really have no idea but um, I'm kind of annoyed now because for my upcoming flight in a couple of weeks from uh, Jakarta back to Bangkok I've, I've paid the extra online when maybe I didn't have to anyway I just needed the vent but we're here at the airport I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm fucking hungry. I'm, I'm gonna wait till I get to Singapore to do a little bit of duty free shopping. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna look for some food because I'm starving Marvin, mate. Absolutely Hank Marvin. Just sitting here enjoying my uh, my last stir fried basil. Not last one ever, just last one for a couple of weeks, I suppose, when I'm in, when I'm in Singapore and Indonesia. So good, look at the chilies, man. Love it. And of course, quick sing dog. Cheers, boys. In the line to board now. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's go. Alright, here in the left. Fucking. That time flight was delayed by like 45 minutes, but that just gave me time to have another Jim Beam and Coke, you know what I'm saying? Okay, made it through. Now, I'm gonna pop in here to the old wine and spirit section. See if we can get ourselves duty free. Already spotted the main culprit. There we go, what? 42 Singapore dollars for, for, for that. Hang on a sec. Isn't that the same as just like Aussie dollars? Either way, the immigration part's easy. They've got like automated immigration things here. Just scan my passport, scan my face, scan my thumb, in you go champ. Easy as. I need to quickly work out what I'm going to get here because 42 Singapore dollars, that's like 50 Aussie dollars, I think. And that's just the same as buying one at home. Like, what's the, where's the duty freeness? Got my bevies and look at this. Walk straight up to the Ag Bay machine here and it's here ready to go. That's, that's some serious luck. In Cambodia, the bloody, I was the first bag out, but this time I just walked up and it was right in front of me, so it's just as good. But I got me JD, got me bags. It's got to go through this little customs thing. I've got nothing to declare anyway. And then I've got to get a SIM card and exchange some money and get a taxi to the hotel. So let's go get that done. Alrighty, good little sit. I just need to relax for five minutes and then I'll go get a taxi. But one thing that's already pissed me off, see these desks over here, these ones, right? I went to there to get a SIM card and they're all like 48, 50 dollars for like 100 gig of data um, and it's for like 15 days or something. I'm here for seven, so I was like, there was no seven day one. So I was like, Ugh. I was like, surely I just need data. Can I just have, is there something that just has data or do some of the others have just data? And she was like, oh, they're all the same. They're all the same, like 50 dollars. And I was like, yeah, right, sure they are, whatever. Look, I'll just, I'll just pay it, right? Paid the fucking 50 dollars for this fucking SIM card. And then just went into this shop, this shop here, cheese, to get a fucking beer. And on the wall that you can't see, but on the wall there, they've got 100 gigabytes of data for, it's, it's good for 30 days, but it's 14 dollars, bro. 
14 dollars how are they 50 there and 14 there are you kidding me why didn't that little fucking gimp to say fucking oh you can go over there there's only 14 fuck you like oh, i'm so i'm already i'm already annoyed 50 bucks on a sim card and there's 14 in there I'm fucking oh well at least I make the mistake, I can let you guys know and then hopefully you won't ever do it. Alrighty, made it to my hotel room, had a shower, got changed, copped a $30 20 minute taxi ride from the airport, so far out. This place is looking expensive, but whatever. I'm not going to get a taxi now, I'm just going to probably walk around to, I looked at my phone to see where some restaurants are. There's one that opens like 2am or something, I'm just going to head around there, get something to eat, something to drink, and then come back and then figure out what I'll do tomorrow, so let's go. All right, so that's where I was gonna go. I went in, right? They weren't doing food anymore. Fair enough, it is a bit late. But then um, I was like, I'll have one JD and Coke. No worries. Had the one JD. And I was like, I'm fucking starving. You're not doing food. I'm gonna get out of here. I'll go somewhere else. She bought the bill over, brother. 19 fucking dollars for one JD and a Coke. Are you off your face? 19 dollars, one JD and a Coke. So I can see a kebab van over here. I'm just gonna get a kebab and going home. Up this joint. I've got a 7-Eleven on the way home, it's probably going to be it. Alright, I'm going with this instead. Looks a bit more uh, up my alley. Oh, it's good. Oh, I forgot to mention, on the screen over at that um, Irish place over there, they had like, I didn't have the whole menu, but just had fish and chips, right? Fish and chips was like $25 or something for fish and chips. And if it, honestly, and if it comes out looking like it does in the photo, I would be that mad. It was the most little piss, it was like a fish finger. A fish finger and four chips, trying to charge you 30 bucks for it, bro. I'm glad I'm here for a week. Gluten free Mediterranean powder. Where's this? It's like a. Did you do what? It's like a kebab, like lamb kebab. Yeah. Peanut pocket, you know. Uh, it's like lamb kebab. Lamb pocket. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Lamb, oh, okay, right, yeah. Oh, all right, I'm just gonna take a seat over here. I think that was like. I don't, I don't even know. I gave him $20 and I'm pretty sure I got $7 back, so you do the math. 13 bucks. Oh, something's moving in that bush, eh? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Oil can What's in the floor? Wow, there's some fucking apis ray in the bush there. What the fuck? I'll just wait over here. Now I'm gonna walk back home, man. Far out. I was keen for a fucking something to eat. I'm glad, honestly. Take us for a spin. What the fuck? Oh! I don't know, I don't know if the microphone in there would have picked that up. He's popping, banging down the road, bro. Take us for a spin. Alrighty, back in the hotel. Gonna try this kebab. I, honestly, I really wanted to stay out and go to some different bars, that sort of thing, like I usually do, but I'm not sitting there drinking drinking three JD and Cokes and it ends up being $60. Like, no way. Let's just, let's just try this kebab. It's a burrito. It's a burrito. Just, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's good. I'm going to eat it all. It's really good, but yeah. It's just definitely more of a burrito than a kebab. Well, that was kind of uneventful. I was really expecting to be able to go out and do a bit more, but oh well, can't win them all. I'm gonna sit here and bloody, oh, eat me cashews, drink me JD. I got a bottle of Coke from the 7-Eleven downstairs and got some Cheetos over there as well. So I'm just gonna sit here, have a bit of a munch, watch some TV once I pop it on and mind my business for the next two hours. And then tomorrow I'll go for a walk around and I don't know, see what else I can find. Hopefully I can find a restaurant that isn't gonna charge me $30 for, for fish and chips. <laughs> but I, I don't know, we'll see how we go. The next day. Alrighty, had a little Italian restaurant. Done with the expensive ass thing. Have a go at this. Look at this. Pizza, are you can eat pizza, mamma mia. Italian sausage, cheese and artichokes, $32. Are you kidding me? What sort of rip off is this? Uh, anyway, did I did I accidentally book a ticket back to Sydney? That's that's what I feel like has happened. I don't I don't feel like I'm in Singapore. I feel like I'm. Oh. <laughs> it's the same amount of Asians and everything. It's crazy. <laughs> Every time I've said to my mates I've come to Singapore, they're like, "That's so expensive there." It's like I didn't know that. To be fair though, hang on. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna splash out, I might just get the spaghetti lobster for thirty five dollars. Spaghetti pasta, half spiny lobster, garlic, light chili, tomato sauce. Okay, you know what I mean? If we're gonna be splashing out, I may as well get a bit of fucking, a bit of lobster on me. I am ready, thank you very much. Rochetta the start, yes. And then I will have the Lamora, this one here. Yeah. It's just, just a glass, please. Second one. Yeah, second one, thank you, yes. Yeah. I'll have uh, the spaghetti lobster, please, this one. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. bruschetta first. first. And then after. And then, yeah. and then yeah. both together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. 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 And then the wine, whenever you can. 
Hi, you say fake. <laughs> oh, let's try this out. We did fucking bruschetta there. Where's the balsamic? This is the second time I've got a fucking bruschetta. No fucking balsamic on the fucking sitch. Mm. Mm. Oh no. Fuck's sake. Can't take me. Can't take me anywhere. Can't take me anywhere. A couple of bogans in a fancy restaurant. <laughs> We'll be good, mum, don't worry. Have a sip of this red. Honestly, where's the rest of it? Fill up the top. I know the, the thing is like, you fill it to the widest part of the glass. Fucking top me up, brother. It's already what, $13 for this. Put some more in there, you rip off, dog. Mm. That, is, that is fucking good, though. That is fucking good. Ooh, have a go with that. I was expecting a little bit of lobster. In the pasta, not half a lobster in the whole thing. Yeah, you pass it in. Give me the chili. Mm. I love the whole thing. Alright. Let me try a bit of this lobster. So I'm just grab a bit out of that tail. How do I how am I meant to do this? Oh, I'm meant to just like I feel like a Neanderthal trying to fucking do this. Give me that. Bro. <laughs> God, there's even lobster on the fucking camera. What is like how do I? How? It's so hot. Let me just try some of the pasta. Man. Too handy because it's fucking slippery now. Great. <laughs> Give me all the chilies. Mum's just passed all the chilies over. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know either. I feel like a spoon's better. I mean, a, a fork's better. I feel like such a child twirling up the, the pasta with two hands, but it's so oily and this slippery ass metal fork. Stir it on the fucking spoon like a like a proper gentleman. I feel like there's there's meat in these legs as well, and, like, and I'm and I'm wasting it. Is it not like ah? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. I think that's it. Where else can I get the fucking meat from? I think that's it. What's that? That's a bone or something or something. A bit. Huh? What? What am I doing? Oh, I'm swearing. Oh. I didn't, I didn't even realise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realise. Is there meat in the antenna? Surely. Alright, all finished. What was it? How much? 100, 102 Singapore dollar dues, mate. Who went? Nah, it's all good, mate. All good, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. No problem, all good, thank you. Thank you very much. A little bit, a little bit of a tipper. The next day. Oh, here in the beautiful, lovely botanical gardens with Mumsy. How you doing? Yeah. All right. I definitely have not been, um, I've, definitely, I've definitely been to sleep. <laughs> I'm definitely not here after not sleeping at all and drinking all night. <laughs> Well, I'll do that. That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, look at that. Isn't that isn't that beautiful? You know, mate. You better go. In. You're going in for a dip. I've, I've got to be quiet here. Fucking <laughs> hell. No, I'm sober. We're we're good. You're all right. George of the George of the jungle in there. <laughs> Let's go. What was that? That's a nice tree. Fucking. No, no, that's actually kind of nice. I'll, no, no. To, to prove I'm not being sarcastic, I'll take a photo of it. I can, uh, cool tree. A botanic garden rainforest. I don't, I don't like, look, I, just between me and you, honestly, never liked owls. Look at them. Look at them. They, always, they look like, they look like they're up to something. They look like, they look like they're, they're plotting on you at all times. They water, fuck. Heard what oh, we're gonna do? Get out and take a sip, like your bear grills or something. <laughs> and what we ha what we have here is a is a is a is a is a, <laughs> it's a stream of flowing water. If we just have a couple of sips of this, it'll keep us going for the next couple of hours. That's almost like remember when I. It's a tree. Oh yeah. Can't wait to walk around this whole place and look at more trees. <laughs> Remember when I went to That's the... a bit of me right there. What? Can this get kind of exciting? Can, can can there be some like monkeys in the trees punching on or something? You know? 
I mean, and this is nice and all, but a bit of action. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sweating. I'm sweating coming in looking at trees. Have we got the size of the leaf? No. Uh -huh. Look at the size of that. I can. This is probably breaking some kind of Singaporean law, honestly. The amount of laws they got here. Can't chew chewing gum. Can't even fart on the street, mate, without getting a fucking two year jail sentence in this joint. I swear. You could use that to fan yourself. What were you doing? <laughs> no, I don't want to be caught with the fucking. Oh, that's an endangered leaf. You're fucking going to jail, mate. Oh, I'm starving. National Orchard Garden, Orchid Garden, Ginger Garden. Something. There's food here somewhere. There's food here somewhere, and I can smell it. And I want it. Here we go. Let's get it. Love Singapore. It's so cheap here. Let's get a forty dollar bacon and egg roll. What's that? Oh, it's a. It's an ice cream for five dollars. Yeah, see, that's what I want. No service charge, free seating, cashless payment. Oh, well, fuck, hang on a sec. I've only got ash cream on me. Nah, I've got, I've, got, I've got some money on my... I've got some Singaporean dollars on my card. Crunchy granola, no thanks. Hearty breakfast, $23. Toasted brioche, buttery scrambled egg, chicken sausage, turkey... Turkey bacon? Mind you buy? What the hell? Roasted mushies. Naked cheeseburger. Oh. Hi. Alright, here we go. Here's our brick here. That's $25 worth. I can grow up. <laughs> I know where I am. I understand. It's a joke. Not really, but... Oh, a couple of fucking cherry... A couple of... A couple of beautiful cherry tomatoes. I'm not swearing. <laughs> Bit of scrambled egg on the toast. Right. And then some turkey bacon. Great. Love that. Not bad at all. A couple of mushies. This is good, but but not twenty-five dollar good. If you've watched most of my videos, you know damn well you can go to Cheap Charlie's and get the same thing for for, for like four dollars or less. Yeah. <laughs> Where do they get off charging this much for? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The tomatoes are popping though. They're good. Yeah, that's alright. Can't complain. It's not bacon, bacon though, is it? Go, boys. Absolutely smashed it. So you got your chicken sauce and a bit of, a bit of toast and an egg left. Smashed it though. Yeah, sweating this <laughs> so much. Humid, humid as, humid as F, you know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta keep it G-rated because I'm apparently swearing here is fucking... I don't even realize I'm doing it. Yeah, you know, it, it's illegal, you know what I mean? I can, I can get a fine for swearing. <laughs> this place is bloody lovely. Not gonna lie, since I've had about a litre of Jack Daniels, I'm struggling, I'm sweating. But this is nice though, this is nice. The trees, buddy. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, even a bit of a butterfly. How, how blood lovely. Here we go, look at this. A hey, we'll, couple of fishes in. Look at this. A couple of piranhas. Chuck a line in, get a few dogs. Look at these, look at these turtles, bro. There's one here looking at me. Oh, I'll just chuck a quick bucket, you know what I mean? Get a little lure in there, wind that dog up. Get the dog. Not to me, it's one that's a different colour. Honestly, my intrusive thoughts are telling me just to, just to fucking, just to jump on them. Just to, just to bomb on top of it, because it's funny, right? It's not really, but uh, funny, but. The next day. Alright, here we are next day. The Art Science Museum. 66 Singapore dollar dues to get in here and see everything. So we're going up to the, what was it, the sneaker something, sneaker, I don't know, something about street art, shoes, sneakertopia. Sneaker Let's go have a look. I thought we'll do this one first because I don't really care, I'm not a big sneaker head, so let's, let's go see. It might surprise me, you never know. Mm. Alright, let's go. Sneakertopia, here's the entry. Oh wow, look at that, sneakers. <laughs> I'm already bored, get me. <laughs> Here we go, copyright. Wow. Wow. What, oh, John Skatey, mate? Do a, do a, do a bloody kickflip jam. Do a fucking, do a pop shove it, mate. They've got a hoop up there in the balls. Can't even throw them, okay. 
for any of the sneaky heads that are watching this, it's probably really cool, but I'm just not that into it. Skaties again? I don't mind these, these are actually kind of cool. There we are. These are like reimagined movie posters, I suppose. Shoe addiction instead of heroin addiction, I suppose. I don't know. Forrest Gump 2. Life is like a box of sneakers. <laughs> oh, fuck. Calm down, that's hilarious, bro. <laughs> okay, I've got to stop complaining. Again, for the people that like love sneakers and shit, this is probably amazing, you know? Like, oh, that's, that'd be cool to go to. For me, bro, fuck. You're sick. <laughs> oh. Let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, no, oh, it's gonna be flickering. I can't do much about that. Just gonna have to deal with it. Do a kickflip. Oh yeah, here we go. We're kicking off. That's boring as bro. Someone's made a beat out of the dial up time. Someone from Malaysia is calling me. But I can't. Look at that. Nice little seat. Oh yeah. But I want to touch him. What is it? What is it? What? It's a made off. Looks like I can take a bite. You know what I mean? Oh, it's got cereal packets on it, right? How, um. Artistic. Fruit oh, Papa. Fuandi, they reckon. Jesus, that's like a topographical like parts of a map. Like when it shows you a mountain on a map, that's what it, that's what these look like. That's blister central, that one. Holy Jesus! <laughs> I'll do a couple of those like the morning after a big night out. I'll tell you what, oh, is that a Picasso? What's fucked me up the most? Is that frugal brand, right? Frugal. Ninety Singapore dollars. What are they? How are you gonna put frugal on a shirt and then charge ninety dollars for it? That's what. With an oxymoron on that one. How does this shit get displayed, honestly? This sort of stuff confuses me. What is that? Genesis of the idea. It looks like someone's like just taken their toddler's book and, and then handed it in and they're like, oh yeah, sick. We just scribble. What is that? Alright, so since there's a big line for the other one, I'm gonna go here, Sensory Odyssey, into the heart of our living world. This is much more Mali. Some animals and shit, you know what I mean? Gets a look there. Oh here we go. Old bloody Ken Duncan over here, gotta get pictures of everything. Come on. Stinks in here. Someone dropped their guts and it wasn't me for once. Alright, so welcome to the African Savannah. Alright, so as you slowly approach the area, you get to smell the scents of the earth, okay, in this space itself. Oh, is that what the smell is? Oh. 
this is cool. This is a bit more at my alley. I feel like I'm moving. And here in the Amazon rainforest. <laughs> seen much the GoPro is terrible with low light situations we're meant to be below ground or something grass some mushies up there and then stuff below ground but you can't even can't even see it Well, that's it for that one. I couldn't do much talking in there because everything was everything was lots of people around. I didn't want to be an asshole, but it's all finished. Just walked from out of there back to the start. So I've got some videos on my phone because the GoPro is terrible at like low light scenarios. So I've got some stuff on my phone anyway to show. But now I've got that. I've got one more to go, which hopefully is much better than this because this is that was that was kind of shit. Not gonna lie. I tell you what, I wouldn't mind getting on marshes and doing this again. I'll be here all day. Alright, so with these ones, you, you draw or colour it in, right? And you pop it in the scanner over there, and it ends up on here. So, you already they've already got like pre-chosen things to put on there, because I was about to draw a phallus, but... Obviously, I can't do that. So, second best. It's gonna pop, you know, a bit of, bit of promo, a bit of Wayne's Adventures on there. All right, there we go. Wayne's Adventures YouTube can barely see it, and no idea what that is. <laughs> Who put that there? Anyway, let's go pop them in the in the scanner over here. Get them up on the screen there. And you pop it in there like that. Press once. Scanner up. We. Oh damn, that was fucking bright. All right, I think that's it. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's backwards. What the hell? Wait, there's good. Oh, you're so good. Oh, it's backwards, bro. Okay. Off the end. Hopefully, it comes back in a sec. Wait for it. There we go. Look, look. Picture that. Oh, you're actually allowed to go in there. I think so. Oh, I get to do the same with planes. You better watch them towers over there, huh? It's a pop up plane, oh. That was. Let my intrusive thoughts win there. <laughs> Alright, I got my plane all done. Wayne those adventures. No idea what that is, just there. <laughs> That's weird. You put that there. I was a bit worried then. I thought he was gonna fucking. <laughs> thought he was gonna spot the clock. <laughs> Kick me out of here. Where's the blue bunny mountain? There Check. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in front of me. I'm waiting for the gong. Oh, there it is. There's mine. Look at this. No. Where are you? <laughs> there we go. Wayne has adventures. Cock airways. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's a bit messy. No one's going to be able to tell what the hell that says. Free advertising though. Look at him go. What's that at the front? <laughs> the, the hell? <laughs> Wayne A's adventure. Oh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to use my phone, eh? <laughs> I 
You can't say shit out of this thing. Pretty nice. All finished with the free exhibitions. Tell you what, that is not worth $66 for our out. $30 max. That should be what it is. I mean, it'll still fun either way, but yeah, that is not worth the money. Last thing for this video, uh, been out and about, had a bit of a feed, been at that exhibition thing today. I was gonna get some food, some cheap food. So if you're ever here, you need to look out for things like this. All right, you can, you can easily just walk straight past them. But this is where you can get really, really good food without paying, like the, the one I took up the road there, $29 for fish and chips, bro. You can get about four meals in here for that. But anyway, look, it's like a food court situation, all cheap relative compared to the rest of the place you know what i mean let me go around and have a look look at this seafood soup a bunch of different meats that's like a uh the salt and curry uh so look look at the prices look 450 for a chicken meal six bucks for a chicken biryani yeah thanks chapati set for three dollars have a look at something else stir fry broccoli braised pork some drinks oh the place is closed i went coming this morning i had a nice uh nice pork roll Oh, fresh Indonesian pork. I think I'm going to go with the curry as well, I think. Or with the curry shop. Masala dosa. I might get the chicken meal and a chapati set. Boom, boom. I think that's the go. All right, let me get my order in. Oh, chapati. Okay, right. I thought, yeah. It's a better look at the menu. Ooh, that looks so good. Let me just go and pop this on the table. I drop it and make a bloody fool of myself. And I'll grab my, here it is. Lovely. Boss man's got it ready for me. Perfect, thank you very much. One of these, one of these. Yeah. Awesome. Looking good. Right. Let me try some of this rice and the sauce. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try some of this chipotle dip. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Try and get some of the chicken off. Mm. That skin. Flavors and Sasha. Some of the rest of it on there. Stop mucking it out. Yeah. Again, a bit of chicken, a bit of rice, a bit of cabbage. Mm. I got a can of soft drink in here earlier and it was only two dollars so if you get yourself this in a soft drink it's going to be a bit cheaper than a beer but it's up to you all finished there absolutely demolished that that was so good holy shit that was nice that was bloody good but anyway done plenty of stuff bit of a feed explore around a little bit i'm gonna finish off that video there because tomorrow I'm going to have a, a boxing lesson, so I want, I want to put that in one video. And then somewhere in after that, the next day, day after, we're going to uh, we're going to Universal. So I want to have that in one video as well. But either way, thanks for watching this one, and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.